special guest. Now that I've got my brain all sorted out and everything, <laughs> so I've got Flippin' Flamingo Renee Hi. with us on tonight. So I am super excited to have her with us. Um, I think you probably were on with me and Tiffany way back when, when Tiffany yeah. and I first started and everything. So it's been a it's while. Been a long time. It's been a long time. So I was just stoked when you said, hey, we need to do this together. I'm like, yeah. yeah. So... Um, guys, if you don't know who I am, I am Pamela, a.k.a. Scanner Renee. I've got my awesome husband, my sidekick, Roflo, over here, who shows you all the items throughout the night. And then, like I said, I got the fabulous Renee down below. Uh, her information is down there. I think I might put your other email in the description, I think. That's the only email we use, so okay. right there. Oh, I got it. I, that's the one I use. Never mind. I'm impressing <laughs> myself. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Um, make sure you do all the YouTube -y things. You subscribe to my channel, but also make sure you are subscribed to Flippin' Flamingos as well. She does a chat uh, show as well um, on her channel. I'm going to let her tell a little bit about herself here in just a second. Um, but do all the YouTube things, subscribe to myself and to Flippin' Flamingos, ring the bell for all notifications so you know when we go live or upload new content. And if you'll give us a thumbs up on your way in, on your way out, in between, we would greatly appreciate that. So, um, I ship from Arkansas. Uh, Renee, you ship from? Alabama. There you go. We, we're Alabama. like, you know, we're, we're almost yeah. next door neighbors, you know. Yeah, we, we moved from Florida. We're coming up on our two years. I can't so, believe two years. Yeah, wow. almost two years. So, um, I use Pirate Ship, and guys, as I've stated before, you are probably just, um, if you weren't with me last night at Monday Motivation, tonight is my last, last auction for the next week and a half. Roflo and I are getting out of here come this weekend. We're going on a well overdue vacation, and so... I'll be dropping buy now videos for tomorrow, Thursday, and then the three days next week. So I will not invoice for tonight until we get back from the trip. But if you need your invoice before then, uh, let me know tonight so I can get it to you tonight and we can get those out tomorrow. Um, but all shipping from prior invoices is all going out uh, tomorrow. I got three boxes that are going out tomorrow. Um, otherwise, if you can wait, Great. I will get the invoice when we get back. Anything you buy from the Buy It Now videos will also be added to it as well. So uh, we do increments of a dollar up to 20. We do uh, $2 increments after 20, $5 after 50, and $10 after Not a it's something else. Uh, make sure you feel, or make sure that makes no sense. Feel free to make offers if you like tonight and anything that's passed, as I always say, email myself or Renee, let us know. Hey, I can't live without it. I need that. Uh, or also feel free to email for offers as well. If you don't feel like, you know, doing that live. All right. I'm going to bring you up real big. Okay. okay. Well, there's a. There is a big bird. I mean, we, we have birds in our warehouse whenever it gets chilly. And, you know, they lay eggs and stuff for the spring. And there's a big bird up up in the corner. And I'm like, that's a big bird. And, you know, I auctioned earlier today and I heard it. But I looked up there. It's a big bird. <laughs> Joe's like, it's just a crow. No, it's not a crow. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's not a crow. Joe says it's a pterodactyl. <laughs> Do what now? Joe says it's a pterodactyl. Oh. But it's got, it's, it, he thought it was a crow because it looks like it's all black, but it's got a hook like on the end of its beak. And it's not a vulture, is it? I, that's what I said. I said, it's, <laughs> he said it's not that big. It's just as long as it don't poop on me or come down here. It wouldn't it be great if it flew down here and landed right here. That would be cool. It would be cool, but, but I might that. I might pass out. <laughs> <I'm just saying. laughs> All right, I'm gonna make you big. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Tell people who you are and how you run your show that or your business. <laughs> okay. Um, I am Renee from Flip Flamingos. Oh my gosh. 
when you do the big thing, it's horrible. And then Joe, come over here real quick. Joe is the other heart part of Flippin' Flamingos, and he does the shipping. He is my shipping department. When will oh, you? I have one of those too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I'll invoice tomorrow. He will invoice tomorrow, and how we do it is um, up to a pound is what five, five dollars, and anything over a pound is yeah. going to be ten, right? So that's how we how we do it. So you can order like 50 pounds from us and it's only going to be $10. So I suggest you buy everything that I have to offer. <laughs> so that's how we do it. And he will invoice you. Don't pay us right away because we will invoice you. We need to keep records for our taxes because we do uh, have to pay Uncle Sam, unfortunately. I mean... Mm -hmm. I I don't know where my I want I don't know where my money's going, but I'm sure they're doing good things with it. <laughs> of course. My, my husband just made a noise, but yeah. So um I do a chat show on Thursday nights um at seven central, eight eastern with Life of Kimberly. That is Chris the Goose's fiance and baby mama. <laughs> we just sit back and have a good time. We um try to have um, a person on with us every Thursday and we don't just talk about reselling um, we talk about um, life in general and what people do outside of reselling we also do a game night once a week we just hang out and have fun once what once a month. oh once a month did I say once a week yeah. once a month I'm like not there um, we also own, yeah, we also own a marketplace on district.net called Holiday Hoarders. So if you're looking for anything that has to do with a, ho a holiday, check us out there and see if we have it. And uh, we also auction on knickknacks.net right now. And that is part of district.net. A lot of people don't know what that is. And we do talk about it a lot on our um, Thursday show just to kind of tell people what it is because it's new and it is fun. So check us out on Thursday night. Maybe we'll tell you some more about it because I could talk about it forever. <laughs> Ask Pamela. I'm going to talk about it forever. So that's yeah, it. Okay. I've never have heard it before until you were telling me about it. And I had kind of heard you and you were talking about it uh, a couple of weeks ago or whenever it was. And so I was like, oh, something new. Yeah, it is something new. There's so many selling plans. There's always something new. Um, so guys, again, um, Please help make la, 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 get my tongue tied. Please help make Renee feel welcome tonight. Show her some love. Um, we're gonna get started. Uh, I'll get Robert to switch to the box, switch his camera, and then are you ready to get started, girl? Switch to the box. Yep. Yeah, you want me to? You want me to go first? No. I'll oh no, go you first. go first. That's I'll cool. My my guests go first. I'll let y'all kind of settle down, get ready, which. Again, I know this is no new thing for you. So. I always make my guests go first. I'm like, <laughs> you're here. You get to go first. You're the guest. All right, guys. Here we go. We've got a couple of skull mugs here for you. One goes from purple to pink or maybe a dark purple to a light purple. Mm -hmm. And then we have a green to a blue. I thought so many. Oh, wait. Hold up. Hold up. I don't know. I'm really that. failing on my job, guys. Ooh. I forgot to welcome people. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no. So we're going to do this really You're really having cool. a day. I am. I'm really having a day. You did not catch my short. You got to watch the second short because you're going to realize I goofed. So we've got Stephanie in the house. <laughs> welcome in, Stephanie. We got Selena here. Welcome in, Selena. We got Joanne McGuire in the house. Welcome in, Joanne. Good to see you. We got Black Widow here. Hey, Black Widow. I knew I was forgetting something, guys, and I do not like not okay. saying. We got Jimmy Mac. When are you coming back? Hey, Welcome Jimmy. We got 
Harley, my baby girl in the house. Welcome in, Harley. Hey, Carmen, you are in my prayers, girl. I am thinking of you. So whenever you get to feeling better, don't worry about anything. Um, you got enough to worry with already. So uh, let's see, anybody else that I might have missed? If I missed you, just yell at me. Uh, I know you are conversating back and forth. We got Yvonne Clement in the house. Hey, Yvonne, welcome in. Karen Shelton is here. Welcome in, Karen. Good to see you, my friend. Welcome, welcome. And I think that's it. So, okay, guys, I've done my part that I was supposed to do. So, back to the program. So sorry, guys. <laughs> I don't know if All right, good. here we go. Um, we got Shelby here. Shelby just walked in. Hey, Shelby, welcome in. If you are brand new to my channel, guys, if you will fill out the job form, it is pinned at the top. Let me know that you filled it out and I will make you blue. Um, and then if you, if Renee does not have y'all's information, I will share your information with Renee. So that way you don't feel like you got to do both. If you want to, you're more than welcome. You can email her your information. Uh, otherwise I will make sure that she gets it. So back to this guys, I am so sorry. Uh, we're going to do a $3 start for choice. Again, these are kind of like, uh, Mason jars, except they have the skull on them. That one is green to blue. Uh, but these are real cool. You can put a candle votive in it to light it up, or you can just make a drink out of it, make a fun drink. We got Stephanie in at three. We're looking for four. These are super cool. Yeah, I think I found one. Didn't I? And I thought I gave one to Harley, and I thought she was making one of her candles in it. I don't know if she did. Do I? Didn't I find those? I can't remember if you found there. these. Or, or, or where, where we even found them. Little, 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 I know, right? Like, I'm struggling. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing new. Y'all are all used to it. $3. Any other interest? We're going to sell it to Stephanie. We're going to go once. Looking for that $4 bid. Right, Stephanie? Yes, they will make some awesome lights. Yes. We're going to go twice. And Stephanie, I'm going to try to get yours and uh, everybody else's stuff up to the flea market this week. That way you can pick it up. Just leave your money underneath the keyboard like you always do. <laughs> Not that I said the word it was, but you know. All right. And we're going to be sold to Stephanie for three. Stephanie, which one or both would you like? Both. You got it. Thank you so much. I know Renee's over there going, this girl is crazy. <laughs> All right. So this right here is one of those uh, decanter bottles. Uh, Robert, I'll have to have you show, I guess, maybe the bottom of it. I can't remember if it says somewhere on there. Yeah, there we go. Uh, upside down. There we go. Uh, this is Prince of Wales, July 1969, Wedgwood, made in England. So there you go. Um, I can't remember what this wow. is called, but that's awesome. Any cool? Oh, oh, nice. I like it. Cool ranch. Welcome in. Get it's like seat. is it like a deep amber or something? Well, this is like a solid black. Like it's all um, definitely the Wedgwood feel and everything to it. But I cannot think of what the the guy's name is. But you can see the lids up there on top of this like hat. The of the no. Um, and it's not Zorro. I cannot remember. But we're going to start this. Let's do a $6 start for him. Patsy Vic, welcome in. Good to see you. I got to see Patsy today. So, Jimmy, you missed out. Jack the Ripper, maybe? That's what she said. He just so $6 start. Any interest? Black Bart, is there such a thing? <laughs> it's almost. It's and is it good size? How, how tall? 10 and 3 quarters. 10 and 3 quarters tall, guys. 10 and 3 quarters. 
Sandman is what it's saying. Sandman. S-A-N-D-E-M-A-N. It was a liqueur decanter. Is that what Metallica, Hello, Karen. Is that what Metallica was singing about? Inner Sandman. Sandman. <laughs> Karen, let me make you blue. I've got your information. Thank you. All right, guys. If there's no interest, we will go ahead and pass it and we'll move it to something else. <laughs> All right, next up we have a couple or a pair of salt and pepper shaker. Uh, looks like the oil lanterns there. You got the three hole and the two hole. And then on the bottom, they are marked Japan. It's got a cork in it. it that, that one does have a cork on, on the inside there. This and one then that one's missing. I know. I wonder where she went. Hey, Christine. Welcome in. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. All right, so these right here, we're just going to do a $3 start. $3 start. I am trying to make room one because I'm about to do some serious sourcing while we're on our trip. So Just remember, I have a smaller vehicle. <laughs> yeah, but there is such thing as shipping. <laughs> hey, Black Widow, if you need us to bring it back up, I can bring it back up real quick. Let me know. $3 start for the salt and pepper shakers. Any interest? Those of you that's been following. Yes, I am, Christine. Yes. Um, those of you that's been following, I went and did my hearing, um, hearing aid research thing today and got my nice 50 bucks for doing it. I was like, yeah, I'll be a part of science. I don't mind. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, Renee, if you got any Blinko there, I do have someone that's interested in that. All right, guys, we're going to pass on this. And just real quick, I'm going to show Black Widow that um, Wedgwood piece. Black Widow, here you go. So, Black Widow, if you decide that you're interested in that, that was a $6 start. So, just let us know in chat. And Christine, our goal is to, we, we are heading to Cannonsville. So I think we're probably going to go to Jacksonville, uh, Florida, and head down the Cannonsville is our, it's right outside of Orlando. Yes, dear, that's where we're going to hold the salt. <laughs> well, we're staying in Orlando. Well, yeah, we are staying in Orlando. Um, but we will go down the East Coast because I haven't been on the East Coast before. So we're going to do that. So I'm not sure where you're at located to where we're going. So let me know, Christine. <laughs> Hello, Nancy Smith. Welcome in. All right. Renee, are you ready? You're muted if you're talking. Um, I am. I'm, I'm ready. We're, we've got a storm that's coming through. And I think, I think I might be buffering. So if I am, um, Forgive me. We got a, a storm coming through, but we have really great internet. Joe's going to try one of our other feeds and see if that helps. But until then, I have a, um, it's yellow. It's indie. It's a really pretty yellow. It's not coming up yellow. It's coming up gold for you guys. It's kind of, well, it's kind of a goldish yellow. Um, and it is a sawtooth diamond indiana glass candy dish and we're gonna start it at six dollars six dollars start let me can i have your measuring tape Did you, i had it over here earlier oh i was gonna say i had it here over here earlier today it's right it, it was over here and i still had it over here <laughs> now, let me see if i can get it out of here oh there it is i don't know how to work the apparatus uh, what size it is it is seven oh nope sorry six and a half inches by six oh yeah by six and a half inches it's it look it's square but it has the um buffering 
Um, thanks for typing that in. Oh, you're welcome. I take I take care of you. <laughs> This is a really pretty candy dish. It is vintage. There's no chips or cracks. And I think our fluorescent lights are hitting it just right to give a glare. But hey, Betty. Yeah. Black Widow, you got it. I've got your message. We will put it aside for you. Thank you, Black Widow. Okay, I think that's a path. The next thing I have is a cookbook. Now, I know some people like the, these kind of cookbooks. I'm going to start the cookbook at five. It's by Surefine. And it is Garden of Goodness, a collection of recipes from the heartland of America. And it's in really good shape. We got it from an estate. Um, it has different sections. It has hors d'oeuvres. Oh, let me tell you what it has. Um, appetizers and hors d'oeuvres. Beverages. And maybe adult beverages. Desserts and sweets. Cakes and frostings. Candies and sweets. Cookies, desserts, pies. Luncheon dishes. Meats and meat sauces, poultry, quick breads, yeast breads, and coffee cakes, salads, salad dressings, seafood, soups, vegetables, and accompaniment, accompaniments. That's a really hard word to say. <laughs> Words are hard. Have three syllables. Index. Oh, special tables. So, yeah, and they're uh, it's all different, like color coded too. So it's really kind of neat. I know some people like to co collect um, different ones from different areas. It was copyright 1976. It is a year younger than Joe. <laughs> no, so, so it's people out there. <laughs> Oh my God. No cookbook out there, people out there. All right. Let's Selena see if, if I have. Anything, if you got anything stained and crazed, is what Selena's wanting to know if you got. Stained and crazed? Stain, when Like stained in what way? Like like some, something got, I guess, spilt on it or whatever, you know, that kind of, not like a stained glass or anything like that, but. Like it's got okay. stuff on it that shouldn't maybe be there. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, I have some handkerchiefs. And this first handkerchief, um, it has flowers on it. It has just some little bitty stains on it. I'm going to show you six of them. And I'm asking $12 for the six of them, which is really good. A good deal in my that I know of because I sell them online. And usually make about ten to twelve dollars each on them. On them. Um, that was the only one that stained a little bit, um, and the rest of them are pretty good. This one has just a tiny little hole in it right there. Is that gonna be a starter bot now, Renee? Um, it's a bid. Okay. Twelve. Twelve dollars start. Sorry. And there's this one. And this is the, I call this the Yellow Rose Texas one. It's so pretty. So there's six all together. And I've got all kinds of stuff that's crazed, but. Yeah, Joel looks some for some figurines and stuff that have crazing on them. Yeah, so Stephanie so, said, you know, like discolored. Uh, Black Widow said, you know, ugly stuff. <laughs> Well, I don't have any ugly stuff, but yeah, I, not even my husband. Joe just said, except for me. All right. I feel crazed some days. He said he feels crazed some days. <laughs> All right. Well, that's my three. All right. Thank you. Okay. Here we go, guys. Um, Jimmy, what were you wanting? Let me know. 
I know you said you were behind, but let me know. All right, we have a brass dish for you right here. It's got the rose uh, there at the top. Make a great soap dish, candy dish, trinket dish, whatever you want to make it. Um, there you go. There's the bottom. It does have four little pedestal feet there. We're going to start this to um, do a $5 start. You can tell it does have some wear to it. I'm eyeballing all the shells behind Renee, right? She's got a ton of stuff. Really, Black Widow? I didn't know that. She said, handkerchiefs make great envelopes for gift cards. You just starch them and press them. Huh. We got Cassie here, the queen bean in the house. 710 is here as well. Welcome in, guys. Good to see y'all. And Jimmy, they did not sell on the salt and pepper shakers. Let me know, buddy. You know I got you. That is so cool, Black Widow. All right, so $5 start. Any interest in this? All right, I got you, Jimmy. Thank you, buddy. All right. If there is no interest in this, we'll go ahead and pass it. Guys, if I end up going too fast, just let me know. Um, y'all know I like to keep it moving. I'm never sure if there's a lag until y'all tell me. So, All right, another brass piece for you. This is a brass boot. It actually used to be like a um, ashtray. So there's the lid at part. It uh, looks like it's got coal mining, maybe, or is that garden? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Looks like a spear of some sort there, or an axe. It's a pickaxe. Pickaxe. So maybe it is gardening. So there's your mark on the very bottom there. It does say uh, upside down, I think, isn't it? Yeah, it's upside down. Oh, <laughs> You're fine. On your head. You're fine. All right uh come on camera cheswick pa action crafted in italy this right here we are doing a let's do a seven dollar start for this right black widow yes it would black widow you want the brass dish you've got it thank you so much Thank you, thank you. So seven dollars start on this one, guys. Any interest? Skype, is that how you say it? Skype, Skype and pickaxe. Sure. <laughs> All right, Jimmy, no worries. Selena, what's your question marks? <laughs> I just think this thing is so freaking cool. I'm surprised no one has snatched it up yet with the lid on the toe box and the other piece or the open piece, I guess I should say. All right, guys. If there's no interest, we'll go ahead and pass it. Just like Black Widow, guys, if you decide later you'd like it, just let us know in chat if we're still live. Next, we have another set of uh, salt and pepper shakers. This one is Berlin. We're going to be traveling some more here. You got the gold tops on it. And they are marked with the S at the top. Corks on the bottom. There you go. S at the top. And the other one's marked with the P. So you know what's salt and what's pepper. Unless you don't know. Your and again, corks on the bottom. Unless what? You don't know your outfit. Right. All right. We're going to start these at $3 start, guys. $3 start for these. Get them on out of here. So, Berlin, you got the crest on one, and then you got. Did you say Berlin? Berlin. 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 I guess that's whatever part of the United States you're from. <laughs> figured out which one you're part of. Uh, $3 start, guys. Any interest? I am so on vacay mode in my brain. Let's go. It's like, let's go. <laughs> All right, guys. If there's no interest in these, we'll go ahead and pass them. 
and I'll hand it back over to Renee if she's ready. I sure am. All right. <laughs> So you said ugly, they said ugly craze. I got some stuff. Let's see if they want it. All right. So I'm not really, I, I think this, is it made out of wood? I think okay. it's made out, out of wood. And I'm not really sure, but I think it's made out of wood. I'll let Joe touch it here in a minute, but it's leaves and it's made to, I guess, hold nuts or it could be used like a little trinket thing, but or whatever you want, beat it up. I guess whoever's asking for this stuff that's kind of ugly. Um, let's start this off at five dollars. Five dollars for the character. Leaf dish thingy. Hey, Jedit. Why are you laughing at me, buddy? <laughs> All right. Is it wood? Hmm. See, he's like, hmm, I think it's wood. <laughs> he can't tell either. When I bought it, I thought it was like, like leather. Like they did something and made it, it was out of leather. But then when you touch it, kind of feels like wood and then you're like oh is it resin i don't know i don't know but here we go here is a piece that's got lots of crazing on it i don't know if you're gonna see it on the there we go yep, we can see it all the crazing it's really pretty even with the crazing and i'm gonna start it off at four dollars so it's a gravy boat Christine said that's a ceramic mold. She's made the dish. Oh, okay. But it's not ceramic. Ceramic mold. Oh, that's a ceramic mold? Ceramic molds are usually, I thought, white. And you pour stuff in it and it's got a thing. I don't know. You got Selena in at four. Thank you, Selena. She said, bingo, you got it. Stuff like this? <laughs> All right. Yep, she loves craze. She loves anything that's discolored in it, you know. Okay, well, I'm glad I got something that she likes. B I N G O, B I N G O, B R N G O. Bean was his name. <laughs> like Widow said, they painted it ugly. Joe took a picture, probably I'll take a picture of it and see if he can find it. All right. I don't, do we have any more bids? If not, we're going to count. Well, however you do it, we can just say sold or whatever. All right. We'll just count it down going once. Going twice. <laughs> Last call. And you are sold to Selena for four. Sold, sold, sold. Selena, can you um, send us your information, please? If you have not bought from us, if you guys can send me information. Now, this is a really cool piece. Peter Renee said she would send us oh. the information. Oh. If you paid attention at the beginning. I'm sorry. I didn't. <laughs> I, I probably thought she was talking to them and not me. All right. So this is enamel over copper, but whenever it, you know, if it gets dropped or whatever, it can get what they call a bruise. So it's got a bruise here. And I thought there was, yeah, it also bruised it right here. But I think it reminds me of peacock feathers. Yes. And it's really, I think it's pretty. So I'm going to start this one at $6, $6. And I'll tell you uh, the diameter of it. The diameter is eight inches, eight inches in diameter. And it is, um, it is concaved. And Selena, we all give her your information. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm.
<laughs> See, and I thought mm -hmm. Selena would like this one. I saw this one sitting here and I was right. like, you know, it's got a bruise. It's bruised. Okay, well, I'm going to tease some. I think this this is my third one, but Selena, look at this. It's got crazy. I'm going to bring it up. It's yellow. It's a bright yellow. It's really cute. Now Joe knows what to get. He's back there. He's back <laughs> there. Like, and if you do tell us what you like, I mean, we have a huge warehouse here, and he will go look for it. So Stephanie wants to know if that is a Jeanette Bear powder thing behind you. Jeanette Bear powder thing behind me. I don't even see a bear. I know what Jeanette, what Jeanette looks like. I must not be. I don't. Is it up here? Let us know, Stephanie. That if it's that, that's a uh, a picture. That. Next to the zebra. I wonder if they know what you're talking that, about. Oh, that one. It's not. Yeah, I don't. It's not. Jeanette. Uh, I don't believe this is Jeanette. And it does it doesn't have one of the character one of her animals on it or anything. And I don't you may know what it is, but I, before I do, it could it reminds me of Viking. Um, but I don't know. But if you want to see it, I'll bring it up. She said it was the Oh, it was the pitcher. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Here we go, guys. Next up, we have a spaghetti poodle, a uh, vintage spaghetti poodle. Uh, this one, we're just going to start it at a, let's do a $5 start for her. She is off white in color, but she is um, still has all of her uh, spaghetti there. There's no chips or anything. Um, Y'all might think it's ugly. I think she's kind of cute, but we're going to do a $5 start for this one. Every time I see these, I grab them. Um, I've got a couple of ladies at the flea market that they fight over these when I bring them in. But this one I just found hidden, so I haven't taken it to the flea market yet. Yep, Stephanie is all about the Carnival, Blinko, and other glass, Renee. So if you got any of that, bring it up. All right, guys, any any information? Good grief. Any interest? <laughs> I cannot believe today is Tuesday. Like, all I have to be at the office tomorrow and Thursday, and then I'm out. So I could take your call. Yay! I <laughs> know. Oh, and then I even took off the following <clears throat> Monday when we get back because, uh, yeah, I don't want to go back to work so soon. <laughs> all right guys if there is no uh interest in this we'll go ahead and pass it so she said she was interested in blanco uh-huh um we were at an auction not too long ago and there was a blanco decanter that they had and it was blanco and it was cobalt blue and it was beautiful <laughs> well how many inches tall was it 28, 28 inches tall Wow. It, it's value, retail value, or you actually auction value was, a, if I could have bought it, I would. They didn't sell it. I almost bought it, but I was afraid I wouldn't get the money back out of it. It was $1,200. And I almost bought it, but Joe, I looked over at Joe and he was, he was <laughs> tightening his legs. He had his hands <laughs> between his legs and he was kind of gritting his teeth. So I knew I had to stop at 250. Yep. And so he wouldn't let me buy it. I, I got, you know, it, he, I wanted it, but I don't think he wanted to ship it. So. <laughs> I tell you, Robert does that. We went to a live auction and he's like jabbing me in the back. I'm like, what? He goes, you're bidding too high. <laughs> hey, Christy, welcome in. 
All right, guys. Up next, we've got God's Worth of Life. I give up. I give up. God's Words of Life for Women. This is like a <laughs> devotional type book. We're just going to do this a $3 buy it now. $3 buy it now. Uh, it says, oh, flip that. This beautiful and compact reference is exactly what you need for a chaotic days or calm days. Whether you are looking for wisdom, help with anxiety, or or filled with praise to the Lord, you'll find scripture, promises, and help. Divide it by topic straight from God's word, and you will find encouragement and insights from godly women. Yada, yada, yada. There we go. <laughs> we got Joanne in at three, so we are sold to Joanne. Thank you, Joanne. And guys, if you are just coming in, um, again, I won't invoice until we get back from our trip. If for some reason you need your um, item, if you need to be invoiced before that, just let me know and I'll be more than happy to send it to you. All right. Next up, we have a, a Oriental uh, music box. It's got the gold there on the top with the red and brown enamel. This is black lacquer as well. And then on the bottom, there is no mark. And then, like I said, on the inside, there is the red felt. And then see if that works. Yeah, it does work. Um, I was starting to doubt myself when I can't remember if it worked or not. This right here, we are going to do a $10 buy it now for this music box. So it turns off when you shut it, and then it plays when you open it. <laughs> Black Widow. <laughs> I'm sure he does that plenty with me. So $10 back now for the Black Oriental uh, jewelry box, music box. So you can put your little jewelry in there if you want it to black lacquer has got the gold with the red and brown enamel on top beautifully detailed there no chips marks or anything on it any interest thank you guys for being here with us tonight we greatly appreciate you All right, guys, if there is no interest, we will go ahead and pass. That's three. And that was our three. Over to you, Renee. All righty. Hi, I'm back. All right, so I have the crazed yellow ball picture. This is to use for cream, um, or you could put also syrup in it. That's what it was made for. Um. It, and there, I'll see if it'll focus in on that crazing for you. There we go. And it it's showing as a very light yellow, but it's a vibrant yellow. And, oh, did I say how much? Oh, let's, <laughs> let's start at seven. Seven dollar start? Yeah. Got it. Hey, Nancy. Burp. Burp. It's really clean. Oh, yeah, seven. Very clean. Very good looking ball picture. Just some good maple syrup in it. Yeah, it's it's really pretty. Or you can just set it up there and let it be decoration. Any other interest, guys? 
looking for an eight dollar bid or better so i was able to find some things that selena likes so if there's anything else that you think you might be interested in just type it in there i might be able to find it and if i can't maybe pamela can <laughs> You just let me know whenever you're ready for me to call it. Um, you can call it. All right. Going once to Selena for seven. We're looking for that $8 bid. Remember, it's not sold till I type in sold. We're going to go twice. Where's that sunflower crazy thing? Has the picture with all the magic. Last call. And sold to Selena. All right. All right. Yay. I've got congratulations, uh, Selena. Selena. I've got this is the paperweight. Um, it is a crystal paperweight. There is, I want to point out just one little imperfection right here. It's I don't know if you can even see it. I couldn't see it. Um, whenever I was checking it over, I felt it. That little dot right there is like a little tiny chip out of there. So I wanted, wanted to make sure you guys knew that it was there. This is a paperweight, and you can put a pin in it. Let me have your pen for a second. So it's a pen paperweight. Or you can just turn it the other way, and it would look like it was a controlled bubble. I think it's really cool either way. And I'm going to start this out at $12. $12 for the paperweight. And it hello, is, Josie. Welcome in. It's a little heavy. It's so pretty. It's crystal. It is crystal clear. See me? I'm all broken up. That's kind of freaky. Whoa. <laughs> That's weird. Kind of like a kaleidoscope, but not. <laughs> So that is one paperweight. And is this my third? Or my second. second. Okay. 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 Nutcrackers. Jimmy Mac loves nutcrackers. Oh, nutcrackers. I don't know if we do. We, I, don't think, I think we've sold all uh, Yeah, I think we have. We had one that was that um it was one that you could sit on the side and kind of crank remember i don't i, I think, think we sold it about christmas nutcrackers oh christmas nutcrackers are real nutcrackers all right so this is um this is a vintage viking sunflower um it is what color oh what carnival color? amber Carnival Amber. I couldn't remember what the base color was. Oh, my goodness. And you can see what the base color is. I just didn't know what to say. And we're going to start this at 15. Christmas nutcrackers. Oh, Christmas nutcrackers. Well, I think we sold all the ones that yeah, we, we have. Don't have any Christmas I don't even have any on our holiday hoarders. This is seven inches in diameter. And it's about two and three quarters in depth or in height, well, you know, $15 start. It's really pretty. It's an excellent condition. I like how it shimmers on the outside with that car. It's, it's carnival glass, but then it, it shimmers really pretty. That's beautiful. You have three of those? Okay, well, I have something I can probably bet. I'll show you next time around that you haven't ever seen. That's carnival glass. Yeah, this kind of nutcracker. Oh, yeah. Well, that's not, no, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a nut cruncher. It's a nut cruncher. Okay, I think that's it. That's three. All right. Here we go, guys. 
Up next, we have some more salt and pepper shakers for you. This one is Paris, Notre Dame. There you go. Uh, it's got a little gold leaf. This is a Limoges, guys, a Limoges, France. You've got the corks in the bottom of them as well. We are going to start these at a, let's do a $7 start since it is Limoges. Any interest, Limoges, and it's got Paris, Notre Dame. You got the um, Eiffel Tower on the other one. Any interest. All right, guys, if there's no interest, we will go ahead and pass it. Next up, we have a beautiful glass piece here. It is blue. It's got the ruffle edges. Um, I looked this up. The closest thing I could possibly come to it would be the Fenton diamond pattern. Um, but there is no mark on there. I couldn't find anything that was close to it. But it's got the painted flowers on there. It's absolutely stunning. It's got the ombre uh, blue to the white. Uh, we are going to start this at an $8 start. That's a gorgeous piece. It's actually, it's it's case glass. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's gorgeous. And I, I think you're right. I think it is a Fenton piece. Yeah, that's the only thing I could find. But, I mean, it's very well made. The paintings on there is not you know, mark, you know, uh, yeah, that, with, it, with it not being marked or signed, it's, and it, if it's Fenton, it's pre-1974. There you go, guys. So I've had this one for a while. I just thought I'd come up and give y'all a heck of a deal before um, deciding what else to do with it. <laughs> Any interest? No, uh, migraines are no fun whatsoever. We got Stephanie in at eight, Joanne's in at nine, looking for 10. Thank you, guys. We got Stephanie back in at 10, looking for 11. I think the last time I had a migraine is whenever I took too much of the Ozempic, if y'all remember that. <laughs> we got Joanne at 11, Stephanie's at 12, looking for 13. Joanne is out. We're going to sell this to Stephanie for 12. And we're going to go once. Going twice. Last call and sold to Stephanie for 12. Thank you, Stephanie. Appreciate you. Thank wow. you. Wow. That's a smoking deal. Good right. job. All right. <laughs> we have a 10 for you guys. This one is hinge. You got the gold um, with the flowers on there. Uh, blues and reds and greens. And this one on the bottom is uh, Mark designed by Dayer, uh, Long Island, New York, made in England. And then if you open it up, again, hinged. And we will start this at a, let's do a $6 start for this one, guys. Hmm, Joanne, that's interesting. My brother, he used he got diagnosed with migraines 
um, at 23, and he's eight years older than me. And then when I turned 23, I got diagnosed with him. But he would get, like, violently sick with his. And when he had his heart attack at 47, he didn't have them anymore. That's crazy. You would think that you'd get them more after uh -huh. having a heart attack. Uh-huh. But when he had a heart attack, they, they went went away. Well, the maybe flowers, let's see, Robert, the flowers are red, right? What do you mean? Uh, Selena's asking. They're different colors. Yeah, there's some red, some orange in there, Selena. Uh, there's a blue one there as well, mm -hmm. but primarily, yes. There's blue, there's pink. And there's pink. <laughs> maybe some peach in there as well. Kind of like a, you know, it's got multicolors in it. Any interest, $6 start. But it does have green on it, Selena. It does have green. Your favorite color. <laughs> Christine's in at six. We're looking for a seven. Yeah, I love this one. I think it's just gorgeous. It's very, um, there's no stains. There's no where the, it's uh, got wear on it. It looks like it's still brand new on the outside. So, all right, we're going to sell it to Christine. We're going to go once. Going twice. Nope, I haven't been sold in there yet, Selena. Uh, last call. And now I will type in there, sold to Christine for six. Thank you, Christine. That's three. Oh, that was three? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, over to you, Renee. All right. Hi. All right, Selena. I don't think um, I'm going to show you something I don't think you would have seen. Um, this is a compote. Hey, Lisa D. Welcome in. Hey. Um, this is Imperial, Gla Imperial Glass from 1951. It's Carnival Glass. It is Hubstar and what is it? Ash? What is it? I can't read it. The handwriting on here. I have to look on my listing it's hobstar and arches that's what it is hobstar and arches smoke. and it is a smoky it's a smoke color but it is carnival glass it does have that luster for carnival glass it's very old 1951 yep 1951 and i it's the hobstar and arches arches there's the arches there's a the hobstar it is a beautiful piece and I'm going to start it out at $25. And I can tell you the size here. It is... It is 7 and 5 eighths. Is that right? No, 7 and... Yep. Yeah. Is that right? Five eighths. All right. And then we have seven inches in diameter. Oh, and the deep. How deep are we? It's probably right at three inches in depth. So there it is. It is like, it's really pretty. It, they call it smoke color, but it has this. I guess because of the carnival on it, it's like a purplish blue. Mm -hmm. It's really yeah. pretty. Selena says, too nice for her. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to show her something I had that I didn't think she would have ever seen before. And Stephanie said, that's a good deal if anyone is going to get it. It is a oh, good a deal. deal. It's a smoking deal for the smoking carnival. <laughs> you do have it in your collection? Cool. I have it in my collection, too. <laughs> All right. We're going to take a pass on that. All right. The next thing I have is... Where did they go? All right. I got some paperweights. 
and we're going to do um, it for choice. Um, we're going to start them out at $7, and it's for choice. This one, it's got blue and that, um, that's a red in there, like that net stuff. They're egg-shaped. This one has a little felt on the bottom, so it doesn't scratch up the bottom. This one has got an orange and red speckle in it. It's really pretty. That's what it looks like when you turn it that way. And it does not have anything on the bottom. It is polished, um, but it has that smoky look on the bottom. So they're not Murano or anything like that. But here they are. And I can tell you the size of them. They're both about the same size. Oh, do you want to see what this one looks like when you turn it over? It looks like that. In case you want to stare down the the um, top of it. It is three and a half inches. And it is three and a half inches tall. So they're both three and a half inches. This one is a little bit chubbier though. Don't fat shame him. I got fat shame in it. Stephanie so said, looks like possibly Dynasty. Uh, it could be. It, you know, Dynasty, I've sold some Dynasty before, but, um, and they make all kinds of stuff, so it's possible, very possible. Selena said, there's a woman on YouTube that uses paperweights in her garden. What did she use them in her garden for? What, did, what does it do? Just for decoration? That's what or I does it, does it scare off birds? <laughs> she, you, use it to hold down like cardboard so she doesn't get weeds? <laughs> I'm interested in that now. I want to know. Nobody want... So nobody wants that all right here we go so that is number two now the third one is this um oh oh stephanie came in at seven all right stephanie um you you need my queen unit you know magic oh my gosh <laughs> i mean i would need to practice that a few times and she'll take both of them if you want to just go ahead and sell them her. Yeah, let's sell them. We waited and nobody bid, so let's just stay their soul. All right. You got it. Thank you for bidding. All right, we got this up next. I don't know who the maker is, but it is hand-blown, applied handle, and it's crackle glass. Got a little, it looks like a little heart to me, kind of. So it's like a craft that you pour stuff out of. You put a little um, bud, use it as a little bud base. Um, I don't know the maker, unfortunately, but it's beautiful. There is the Pontal Scar. And we are going to run this at $7 as well. Um, give this a little tug to make sure it's still good on on there well and it is I, I watched what is that blown away is that the contest that i was watching yeah. um where they do the um they, they have a contest on blown glass and i was impressed with the, how they make bl crackle glass so they like blow it right and then they put it in water and it makes it crackle like this, which makes sense. But I would think it would just bust it like in to a million pieces. But I guess you just, they don't leave it in there. So maybe that's why it doesn't bust. They just dip it and they're done. But that's how it's made. It's really cool. You got uh, Stephanie coming in first at seven. We're looking for eight. So Yvonne, if... If you want, you can um, come in at eight. We're look, we're looking for eight, and I'll, I'm going to give you the measurements on that too. It's so cute. 
four and a half is the um, actual height, and it comes in at two and a half in diameter. Yvonne comes in at eight. Stephanie's in at nine. Thank you. And the mouth of it is um, one and three quarters. Thank you for your, your bids. I appreciate it. Yvonne's in at 10, looking for 11. <laughs> Stephanie's in at 11, looking for 12. 12 or better. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we have an auction. <laughs> Yvonne is out. So we'll go ahead and sell it to Stephanie for 11. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Yvonne and um, Stephanie for bidding. I appreciate it. Gonna go once, looking for that $12 bid. Going twice. Last call. And you are sold to Stephanie for 11. Thank you. Did I get all the bidders? It was Stephanie and Yvonne. Did I miss somebody? Yes, ma'am. All right. All right. That was three. All right. Here we go, guys. We've got some more salt and pepper shakers. Again, uh, I guess the person I bought these from must have had a bunch of uh, different ones. Uh, yeah, y'all can read that word. I'm <laughs> Hohen Salzburg. I don't know if that's how you say it. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Like the state. So there is that. Looks like the town. You got the cork on the bottom. And then you got the crest on the other one. Salzburg. I can say that. And then that one has the cork on the bottom as well. You got the S and the P. So you know which one's salt, which one's pepper. And it's got the gold trim at the top and on the bottom there. So we are going to do Three dollars start for these. You, yes, you said it well, Scooter. Thank you, Stephanie. <laughs> yeah, I know y'all like it when I put your words, but uh, <laughs> I try not to. So, three dollars start. Any interest on these guys? <laughs> Bender, Vento, Vimo, yes, we got it. <laughs> Any interest, guys? Just trying to get these on out of here. All right, if there's no interest, we'll go ahead and pass these. Whoa, I would love to know how to pronounce that, Stephanie. <laughs> I'm not even going to try that one. Put it in for got, got a Roma? <laughs> Your ex-husband was bought a Roma. <laughs> All right, guys, I have another one of these uh, cases. Uh, you get the case with the all the beads in there. Um, looks like you got some glass beads in here. Um, maybe some Millefiore beads in there as well. Um, there's that beautiful pendant piece there in the very center there. Looks like it's a slide. Uh, but you got the red and the blues on that one. All just, you got metal beads in there. I mean, and this one is probably the biggest one that we have shown. So you're getting quite a bit in this. So we are doing a $10 start for this one. And it's bigger than the other ones that we've shown you. Uh, packed full of different beads as well. Oh, this is like candy. We got Christy in at 10. We are looking for 11. Looks like you got some lamp, lamp work beads in there as well. Christy, I've got three other ones. 
Um, if you decide you would like more beads than this, let me know. <laughs> right, cool. There you are. I wonder where you went. <laughs> Stephanie. <laughs> yep, I got three more. Of, they're smaller cases, but they're full of beads. So, any other interest that we're going to sell it to Christy? And Christy, I don't know if you were in here earlier. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get y'all stuff dropped off at the flea market because I'll be going starting from the live auction starting tomorrow. And then Robert and I are going next week, as you know. Um, I will be doing buy it now videos. But I am going to drop your stuff, Stephanie's, Jimmy, everybody's stuff off at the flea market. All right, girl. I'll let you know. I'll I'll see I'll send you pictures. All right, we're gonna go once to Christy. We're gonna go twice. Last call. And sold to Christy for ten. Thank you, Christy. Appreciate you, buddy. And this is our third item. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then our third item, this is a Nippon. Um, I have been told two different things. A sh old shaving mug um, is one. And then another one has been, or you could even use it for your tea bag. So if you drink tea out of it, you put your little tea bag in that strainer. A uh, beautiful handle on the side. You got the gold. Uh, again, your marks on the bottom there. Hand painted Nippon or Napone, however y'all want to pronounce it. Uh, again, gold on the top, gold on the handle as well. Beautiful piece. This one, we're going to do an $8 start. When you say shaving thing, I think of you know, oh, men what? with the little brush. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But would they want flowered on? Well, that's what I was thinking too. It's like, it's not very manly, but that's what I was told they were. <laughs> Corinne says she had looked for a larger fancy dress top for a charity dinner on Friday night. Fun. Oh no, cool. I'm with you on that, buddy. <laughs> well, I thought you were, Christine. I thought you'd been in chat when I showed the others, but maybe, maybe it's my imagination. We got cool in at eight, looking for nine. I know, Joanne. That's the way I feel. That's, yeah. So I like the whole tea bag thing. Eight, looking for nine. Any other interests? Ruh -ruh, no showing cat stuff. The baby just crawled into my lap. <laughs> Maybe baby will go to sleep. All right, we're going to sell it to Cool going once, going twice, last call, and sold to Cool Ranch for eight. Thank you, Cool. All right, over to you, Renee. Hi. I have some Buy It Now. I have four of these, and are, they're going to be $5. Buy It Now. This is the Diamond art and it is oh can you see that picture right there it's um a pumpkin with gnomes and they're so cute the little gnomes right there they're so cute holding their little pumpkins and it's got a sunflower seed it's sunflower seed sunflower and a water can so they're gonna be five dollars buy it now if you're into the diamond art I have no patience I would, this would drive me nuts with the small little beads. Oh, I just noticed there's like two, you, three. There are all these little numbers that you have to follow to. I'd go blind. I'd need, a, <laughs> I'd need this magnifier right here. Oh, yeah. That helps a lot. <laughs> yeah, definitely need the magnifier. So if anybody's interested, I've got four. 
buy it now for five dollars so oh, yeah. that if you're ever stuck inside and hopefully we never have it to go through another pandemic but i have four and they're all the same and i'm selling them for five dollars they are um 30 by 40 centimeters i don't know what that is in inches do you honey Let, does this have centimeters on it why did they do that we we americans did we i remember when i was in school they were like oh you gotta you gotta learn metric because we're gonna you know be like the european countries and it's gonna it's gonna be we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do it okay so 12 inches by uh, uh, 16 12 by 16. it's a pretty good size i don't know I, it's you know and it really upset me you know you get older and you're like we never did go to centimeters okay sh she's being exact there <laughs> look at, look at Stephanie. she's like yeah. she got her ruler out with the centimeters and everything so are you are you gonna buy one stephanie <laughs> <laughs> all right we're gonna pass it if you uh see this at a later date and you want one contact me if we still have them you're more than welcome to them all right so i have this is and it is a compote like for candy <laughs> what did i do Joanne. oh joanne's i'm lucky okay. enough to measure in inches right I have to have big numbers there too. All right. So this is a stretch compote, stretch glass. It is, the base color is amethyst. It's a beautiful amethyst. And I'm going to start this off at $15. And it is, it is carnival glass there on the inside. It's got a really pretty um, thick coating of that carnival glass on the inside um not on the outside so it's a it's a sleeper and then bam <laughs> did i measure this yet nope all right stephanie stephanie should be here because i don't i get exact but this is exactly six inches in diameter how many centimeters i don't know oops stephanie can figure out the centimeters and this is two and a half inches tall. And and two and a half tall. Yeah, two and a half inches tall. Did I give how much I wanted for it? Yeah, you said fifteen. Okay, yeah. I know. I was like, what? Did, what? I can't. I'm getting too old. I can't remember what I said two seconds ago. I'm with you on that, girlfriend. <laughs> Did I? Because I can't remember if I if I. It's in my head, right? Did it make it out my mouth? <laughs> and sometimes you don't want to know what is in my head if it made it out my mouth or not. Just saying. Good night, Jimmy. Love you, buddy. Oh, because you deal with those cabochon. Uh, I get it. I get it because they do. They all measure them in centimeters. I just, you know, I have some beads. I like doing bead work. I do wire wrapping. And I just go, yep, I like that one. I'm going to use it. I don't measure it. So <laughs> that's that's how I do it. All right. This is the pass. All right. I've got a ring here I want to show you. It is sterling silver. It is brand new. It is a Sajan. And it is a goddess ring. And it has, it's called, uh, what is it? It's called. Uh, it's got a weird name. Icky Kaka or something like that. Um, it's actually just a, a fancy uh, sapphire. Let's see if it'll focus. What's it trying to focus on? The box? My fingernails? There, there we go. And it's got some really impressive work done on it. This is bone. And like I said, it's a it's a 
da 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 da. It's a Sajin, and it is a size. Let me tell you the size. I believe it's a size eight. Size eight. And I'm asking sixty-five dollars for it, and it is a buy it now. It's really pretty. Let me take my ring off. I'm on. I think yeah. Well, I put it on the wrong way. There we go. So that's how it looks on. I didn't know if anybody was into like sterling and wanted to do that, something like that. I'll, let me take it off for you. Um, it is marked Sajin. Let's see, oh, sorry, I hit my camera. Did y'all get drunk then? I just hit the camera and you <laughs> should have went. Oh, yong, yong, yong. It's marked right in here. I don't know if, you'll, if it'll focus because of my fingernails. But it is marked stage and right in here. Come on, will you focus? And it is marked 925. There is quite a bit of silver, sterling silver in this ring. It's got the solid um, back backing. Um, it's got some really great work done on the side of it. Let's see, come on. Um, my other camera. There we go. It's really pretty, nicely done. All right, I think that's a pass. Thank you, Cool Ranch. Give the thumbs up, guys. Yes, please. Helps the algorithm and people know to come and see Scooter Renee. That was three. All right, here we go, guys. All right, I'm going to bring these up because I didn't know we might have some new people in chat. And I am still, um, these first two that Robert is showing you, they are not heavy or metal like the last one, but they're still cool in their own way. Uh, this one is uh, number 52, and these were, can you tilt it back to where I can see the tag? The tag's covered by another. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, I think it's. We'll see in another one. Oh, uh, but the first two, mm -hmm. we are going to do these for a $6 bite now. Whoops. Wrong screen. Wrong button. A $6 bite now for the first two. So there you go. A little uh, kind of like a grayish brown one there. Yep, I had to, Stephanie. And then the last one here. Now, this is these remind me of my trinket boxes. They are very heavy and well made. You got rhinestones uh, on it as well. And then on the inside, gimbal. That's what it is. Gimbal and Sons. This is a 2012 number 13. Come on, Stephanie. Look, I dare you. So the last one is going to be an $8 buy now. Last cat. All right. There we go. So six dollars buy it now for the first two um, for choice, or you can do eight dollars buy it now to get that last one there. And again, it's got some weight to it. Well, don't look at her <laughs> unless you're talking about the cats on the screen. Then look at them. <laughs> Any answers in these guys? I still think these are so cool. And this person that has a boot has a ton of thimbles. And they're all different styles. Some of them look like the one on the right. Some of them look like regular thimbles. You know, the decorative thimbles. Yeah, shut up, Robert. And then there, she's got some metal ones that are different locations. She's got some Elvis ones. Um, just really cool looking thimbles. All right, guys, any interest in the three? And if not, well, we'll go ahead and pass it. Oh, Cool Ranch, thank you for the $5 super sticker. Y'all know what that means. 
We'll bring this up real quick. All right, guys. Thank you, Cool Ranch. Appreciate you, buddy. Next up, we have a um, kind of uh, what's that fancy plastic, guys? A beautiful Victorian scene on the top there. This is a little jewelry box, uh, kind of ivory in color. Celluloid. Thank you, celluloid. Yes. And then this one's got the little pedestal uh, feet on the bottom as well. So there you go. Can't pick up with it. So. China. China. <laughs> and then on the inside, you got the different uh, compartments there. You got the mirror as well. We are going, oh, and that comes out. So you don't have to leave that in there if you don't want it in there. We're going to do a $6 uh, start for this one, guys. $6 start. Did you, Selena? Well, she can have one again. Yes, Robert said you can have one again, Selena. <laughs> Any interest? Thank you, Cole Ranch. I always like to show my little sloth thank you thing. All right. If there is no interest, we'll go ahead and pass it. And then we got one more for you. This one is a violet and purple color. You got the roses there on top. And it is in square shape. There's the inside. You got a little basket in there to hold. Uh, little items in there as well. And on the bottom, it does say uh, Shorts Brothers Plastic, uh, Glendale, California. So there you go. We will do this one at a $4 start. I think my aunt had one that was round, similar to that. It had a lid on it. And she cleaned her dentures in it. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like they, she put her little uh tablet in there at yeah. night and then stuck her dentures in it but it was round <laughs> and it was pretty i think it was like a pink like pink colored if i'm remembering right uh -huh. with, with the roses on it and i opened it once when i was little i didn't know what was in it and then i saw teeth and i it scared a little bit snot out of me <laughs> i bet it did <laughs> All right, guys, any interest in this box? I just think it's cute. It's got the little basket there on the inside. But if there's no interest, we will go ahead and pass it. That was our three. You ready? Sure, I'm ready. I'm always ready. Of course you are. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we picked out this cup. I think it's so much fun. Just like a, a lady, like she's maybe she's got her, her little apron on and she's ready to serve you some coffee. So we're going to start her off at, um, let's start her off at $5. Cora said her grandpa had one of those same round ones that he kept his dentures in, freaked her out too. See? See? <laughs> I'm not the only one. So this, it, it looks like this is stoneware. It kind of had me guessing because this was red at the bottom. And I was like, but that doesn't look like red clay. But whenever you start to look at it, it looks like it's um, stoneware. And I'm not sure what that white mark in there is from. It doesn't look like it was repaired in any way, but I think it's the glaze. 
I don't know. It, it could be. It feels different. I don't know what it is, but I thought she was cute. Do, do, do. Yeah. It's not one of those face mugs, but it is kind of, you know. But we've had those before. We'll go ahead and pass on that. I've got some more carnival glass for y'all that like carnival glass. So this is a, gosh, it's really hard to see it on because it's of our lights. Let me put something behind it that's darker and maybe you can see it. Does this help? No, the light blur. Put, put what over top of it? Like this? There you go. Yeah. My husband is a genius. He is so smart. So the lights will just get <laughs> good thinking, Lincoln. Thanks. All right. <laughs> he likes it when I tell him that. That's why I used to tell my students. So this is carnival glass. It's um men. It looks like they're at a bar, maybe. It's like a wooden table, and this guy in the middle has steins and he's given a, a beer. And it is a white glass, white cup, and it's like um a pearl, uh, it's pearl, pearl with the iridescent over the top, the carnival glass over the top. So that's what it is on both sides. I'm going to give you some measurements. I felt like I want to see too. Are the dogs out there? No. I thought I heard something. Somebody crying. My husband is taking a picture of it for what I don't know. It's six inches tall. And the mouth is three inches wide. Let's see. Maybe, maybe this one, because it's not so big, I won't feel like. Oh, did I say how much? Uh, no. I didn't this time. Let's start it out at five as well. What are you holding your phone up for? <laughs> so, Stephanie, did she describe the pattern on it pretty good for you? Let us know. Yeah, let me know. It's like it's like a barkeep guy in there, and um, there's it's federal milk glass. Federal milk glass. Joe just looked it up. Beer stein. Beer stein. What, yeah, mm. and it's it, they're like sitting at a table. It looks like they might be outside, but they're they're definitely that man is holding two beer steins, and the other two one man is drinking something, and one man is sitting there. So I think oh, there's two guys sitting across from each right, other and one guy serving. Yeah, he looks like he's serving some drinks, but there's one guy on one side. On this side here, he's drinking something, and the other guy is sitting there, maybe waiting for a drink. And it's on both sides. You know, everything just says, like, tavern scene. A tavern scene. Okay. Yeah, it is uh, federal milk glass. Um, Happy birthday, Janet. Happy birthday, Janet. Um, Pamela, uh, Betty, the black widow, will take the Schwartz uh, powder box. Was that the purple one? I think so. Let me know, black widow, if that was the purple one. All right, we're going to pass on this here. Man, that was hard. I didn't think it would be that hard to see, but we got those fluorescent lights up there. All right. I'm going to hold one more thing up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm counting first. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's 14 of these. And I believe that they are all vintage, but they are movie pins. So these are movie pins that the theater um, people would have gotten when the movies first came out, the cinema workers. And I believe they're all 
vintage by well there's one that's not this one here it's not quite vintage yet and the 2005 but most of them are so we've got here um i can't clack galaxy quest the day after tomorrow maybe i can get joe to read them since i don't lady in the tramp too winnie the pooh Ooh. employee of the month cinderella too uh baby einstein and you gotta put the other one in this thing. No, that's Cinderella. That one. The Great Defender of Fun. It's not the it's, it's roly poly. Holy roly poly oly. Ollie or whatever. I'm not done with you yet. Ooh. Cheaper by the dozen too. The Tigger movie. Jack Attack. Jack Jack Attack, sorry. Tarzan and Jane. Uh, Dino, Dinotopia, and Aristocats. Okay, so we're gonna you can have them all, and we're gonna start it at eight dollars. Eight dollars for all of them, and I know that people collect them, and you know, so you can add them to the, your collection, or you can start a collection, or you know, sell them. There they are. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Did you see that? What? Who's watching the screen? No, I was watching you. <laughs> um. <laughs> You just call me a moron. Uh, That's not nice. Better than being more off. <laughs> hey, uh, Stephanie says she spotted a cover yellow candy dish behind you on your. Oh, list. yeah, there is. Right back there. We can do that the next round. All right, I got one more thing I want to show you. Uh, or is it that was that two or three? Go ahead and do another one. Okay, so I've got a clown here. It is um, so it's hand blown, and then there's some um, applied. So it is a clown. I don't I don't know who made it. It is done very well. Um, it is. Murano like, but I don't know if it is Murano. Um, it oh, is. Wait. Isn't it cute? So, it we're gonna start it off at thirty dollars. Thirty dollars start for my little clown here. And then Cool Ranch said that she said, "Can I get the white pearlized beer sign for five dollars?" The federal what? glass. Yes, she can. Yes. That was French. Well, what? Yes, what? Joe said yes. So if he said yes, I say yes. <laughs> All right, let me measure him so you know how big he is. He's super cute. I'll show you the back of him in just a second. Let me just get the measurements. I have not investigated him very much to know if he, what he is. He's eight and a half inches. And at his widest point, he is going to be three and a half inches at his widest point. This is what the the back of him looks like. <laughs> Jenna says, I'm scared of him. Oh, some people don't like clowns. If you don't like clowns, close your eyes. <laughs> He's nicely done, though. It's kind of like, you know, and it has that aventurine in it. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Little um, sparkle copper in there as well. And some people call this like fruity tootie. Tootie fruity, not fruity tootie. Tootie fruity or in, end of day. Um, but it does have that, that glow right there is that aventurine. Um that is put in a lot of the Murano stuff. So, 
You do? Salem, you got... Selena, you got a lot. Is it Selena? No, Salem. I was Salem's closet. You you got a lot of really cool stuff. I know clown clowns do get a bad rep. We had um that we had a carnival theme whenever I taught one year, and our counselor was deathly afraid of clowns, so nobody could decorate with clowns. <laughs> our carnival theme and I, that was very difficult because i really wanted clowns but we didn't have any so we'll take this as a pass he'll say goodbye and if you were scared you can open your eyes and i think that i think that was three maybe four i don't know all right no worries um are you down to make one more round sure sure stephanie says she would do 22 on him if you will do 22. I, I'm feeling giving today, so I will. We'll do 22 on it. Yay. So Thank Stephanie. you, Stephanie. All right. Um, let's see. Next, we have a beautiful uh, tin box here. Uh, this one has got the ship on there. There is some wear on there at the very top. Uh, it does have writing down there at the bottom number or no net. Oh, that's just chocolates. It had chocolates in it. Never mind. No, nothing important. <laughs> All right. And then on the side there, you got like a sheep herder there with some sheep, so the windmill and the boat. Nothing on that side. A cow, but it's blue and white. And this is Drost. Draw stay, something like that. Draws. Uh, so we are going to start this one at let's do a seven dollar start for this one, guys. Or draw set. Hmm? Or draw set. <laughs> Age, this color, ugly. Right, Stephanie? Yes. I knew I could find something. Seven dollar. Start any interest. Oh, did you open it up? I don't either. There you go. There's the inside. So, any interest in this tin can? I don't know where she went. Cool. She was just here. <laughs> Joanne's like, yep, don't I don't do creepy dolls either. <laughs> Looks like a bar of soap tin. Yeah, but it had chocolate in it apparently. <laughs> and cookies and oh, there she is. Selena's in at seven. Everybody's paging Selena. All right. Any other interest? We're going to go once. Going twice. Last call. Oh, no, Selena. <laughs> and sold to Selena for seven. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Did I say that? That's how you found it. Oh, is that how I sound it? Okay. 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 Sound it to you. <laughs> All right. Little cabbage teapot here. It is. It does have a lid to it. Um. So there you go. And then no mark on the bottom. Just made in China. Two dollars. Buy it now, guys. Two dollar. Buy it now. That was inside. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that went to. We did, we did pay you, Selena. Except Bella, she snore. Do what? I said, except Bella, she snore. <laughs> 
All right, any interest? Two dollars bought now. Little cabbage teapot. I think you're cool, Jedit. <laughs> All right, we are sold. Oh, Jedit, you waited too long. We are, we are sold to Black Widow. Thank you, Black Widow. All right. Uh, she, yeah, she snores loud. We have a gold box here. Um, you could put your jewelry in it, your compacts, anything you want to put in there, your makeup. Uh, the mirror, you can tell is age. You could tell that it got put in there kind of crooked, but it's there. It's stuck. So, if you want to try to take it off there, you can. You got the pink silk lining on the inside as well. This one right here, we are starting it at a $7 start. <laughs> so, $7 start. Any interest? Very well made. Definitely vintage. Right, Selena? All right, guys. If there is no interest, we will go ahead and pass it and we'll let Miss Renee finishes out. I'll finish you out, all right. There she is. <laughs> all right. So somebody wanted this to come up. It is yellow. It is a bright yellow, like a lemon yellow. And it is tiara glass. It is a three-footed compote. And you can put candy in it or whatever you want. If you wanted to put potpourri in it, you can do that too. It's tiara and Indiana a glass um, makes it. So anyway, there's that. And I'm gonna start this at $25. $25. And I'll give you the measurements. It's really pretty. It's like a really pretty lemon yellow. It reminds me of those. Do you remember those? Um lemon candies that you could get at your grandma's they look like a lemon and they had sugar on the outside mm -hmm. and after you got the sugar off they were really good lemon mm -hmm. i love those that's that's the color it reminds me of so we're looking at six and a half inches in diameter i'm going to put the lid on and when you get i'm giving it an eyeball you've got the top of the lid at six and Six inches. About six inches. And then without the lid, you're looking at three inches. So it's really pretty. I didn't um, let me run my hands over it. So I didn't feel any chips. You didn't feel any chips. You did it too. Yeah, I don't I don't detect any chips or or anything, and I definitely don't see any cracks. But I'm looking for a 25 on that. It's Tiara. What it looks like on the bottom. They got really pretty legs. Thank you. Not you. Oh. Yours are hairy. <laughs> Mine too, probably. <laughs> <laughs> mine too so if you're watching this later um my email address is right there and if you saw something tonight that you're interested in and it didn't sell you can always email me and ask if i still have it around um and if i do um we can sell it to you i do a lot of of auctions so if it's not here, probably sold it. 
I think this little guy is adorable. So there's somebody that saw it on my shelf and they were like, what the heck is that? It's a turtle. And it's so cute. You, it, you can tell it was made out of um, somebody's like old clothes, polyester clothes. And, you know, like they used to make quilts out of clothes once um, they couldn't wear those clothes anymore. So it's just a really cute little stuffed turtle. And we're going to start him off at $6. I think he's adorable. And we'll see how long he is. We're going to count his head from his head to his tail. What did you call that before? You called it something. From the rooter to the tutor. From the rooter to the tutor. It's about 12 inches long from the rooter to the tutor. And about six inches tall. He's super cute. I think he's adorable. Even as an adult, I, you know, I could see this on, you know, whenever I make up my bed. I don't make it up often. But, like, if I was going to have company come over and I wanted them to think that I do make up my bed and I have cute stuff that goes on my bed, I put this on there. Or in the guest room, then they would think... Oh, how cute. Right now I have a hippo in my guest bedroom. And it, do you guys remember the hippo that was in Edward Scissorhands when he pokes the hole in the um, waterbed and it goes squish, squish, squish. He picks up this um, hippo and he puts it on there. Well, that's what that, I have that hippo and they're really hard to find. So I guess, you know, if he doesn't sell, maybe I'll put the turtle in with the hippo. Because he's really cute. All right. That was two. Joe, you need to be showing us. Get up. Get up. <laughs> Joe's going to show this because it requires standing up. But it is a mermaid tail. And what it is for is whenever you are sitting down, you can put the mermaid tail on. And it keeps your toesies warm. So there it is, and there's the tail. So cute. The colors are great, little ocean colors. So this is the opening that you would put your feet in, and if you turn it around, that's what goes on top of your feet. And what are you going to start it out at, Joe, since you're in charge of that one? I was going to measure it. Let's start it out. Let's start it out at 15. I think that's a and that this you know it's crochet and it's a lot of work went into this can you hold that two no. how many hands do you got just two okay all right it's about 57 inches long so it's almost three foot it keep you warm laying on the yeah couch. definitely keep you warm um i just think it's so cute you, yeah, and you can fold it up or lay it down over um, your sofa or whatever. I was tempted to keep it for myself, but I have dogs, and they like my little wieners. I'm not talking about you, honey. Aww. I'm not talking about your little wiener. <laughs> um, <laughs> family show. <laughs> Your favorite wiener. It's after nine o'clock. We're good. <laughs> He has a favorite wiener out of all of them, which I think is unfair, but um, it's Frodo. He's he's we have little wieners in our house. We don't have big wieners in our house. Oh my gosh, I'm getting a look. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, they like to get on my lap, and I think that they would ruin it with their finger with their fingernails, their toenails. They think they're human. Right. Uh, that was three. Hey, Corey wants to know what that zebra over your right shoulder on the shelf is. It's a zebra. It's a zebra. I couldn't reach it. Too short. It's made out of beads. Are you interested in it? Oh, how cute. So it's made out of wire and beads. There's a, there's a company that makes different animals out of wires and beads. And I can't remember... Which one? But look at this. This is odd. So you got all the black and white beads. And then all of a sudden, they put a black one in with a white one. That person was drunk whenever they got to that part. They're like, hey, I don't care. <laughs> and she said, yes, how much? 
Um, one million dollars. One million dollars. <laughs> um, are you comfortable at eight? So eight dollars. Yeah. You, I wish I'd remember the name of the company because we had, so we sold a pug. Okay, she said yes. Thank you. Awesome. Um, we had a pug made by one of the companies. You should look up beaded, um, wired and beaded animals. Mm -hmm. And there was a company out there, I can't remember what it was, that we had a pug made out of. We picked it up at a garage sale. For like three or four dollars if i remember correctly got back we looked up the company we looked up the pug it was retired and it was worth like sixty dollars i was like i was like it's a wired pug it, it was sold quick. it did sell quick really quick um you can look them up on ebay too i don't know if this is i don't didn't see a maker on this one but this one could be pretty valuable too look it up and then Black Widow wants to request to see something as well. So Black Widow, just let us know. Oh, that's neat, Amy. Of course, you could have requested earlier. I would. I'll show you anything you want to see, except for you know what's clothes. I used to be that when I. Cl oh, okay, Swarovski. I can never say it right. Swarovski. <laughs> I'd probably say it better if I've had a beer or something. Right. <laughs> Thank you, dude. I just spit on everybody then if I've had a beer. <laughs> what you want to see? What you want to see, Miss Betty? Black Widow? She's probably typing it in. So, yeah. Second shelf, far right, past the lighthouse, looks like a white vase at the end. The White House is that way. Mm -hmm. The White House. <laughs> I just called it the White House because she said white. It's a boot. Do you want to see the boot? Is yep. that what you, that was what you were talking about? Break or is that the way it's made? No, that's the way it's made. It's it just didn't get um, colored. Is this it, Black Widow? Is this what you were looking at? She is shape. Oh, okay. Do you want me to to give you a price on it? $2 Joe said $2 million. How about now? He just pointed out to me on here. That this he thought this was a break. It's not. It just doesn't have its coloring all the way in the leaf. But whenever he showed me that, it's dirty too. Whenever somebody painted it, I don't know if you want this or not, but it's got little like where they drip the paint. So I mean, you could put it this way, which is you know, or set it this way. Or this way, but I just thought I would point that out to you. And I've got been... I've got other boots, but I wanted you to be aware of this um, imperfection. Is that in the glaze? And she said, "Yeah, yeah. what price?" Um, how about five dollars? She said five. Okay, now I'm sure there's a way you can remedy that, but I don't know how. All right, thank you. Anything else, anybody? You know, you mean to go? That's in the glaze. Yeah, get out of the way, Renee. <laughs> yeah, I know it's in the glaze. That's what I said. It whenever they did it, they dripped it. They didn't. They didn't catch all their drips. Drip. I, I've got it right here, Stephanie. So I've got it ready to send to Renee. You guys got good eyes. I tell you that much. Right.
I found something here today. I didn't even know it was here. Is this pewter? No. What is that? I don't know. He's got a broken ear. Oh. I found I found a donkey I've never seen before, and then Joe pointed out it got a broken ear. Poor poor donkey. He's been carrying around somebody's stuff. Hey, look! It has a little sticker. Anybody see anything else? I'm we're willing to get it off the shelf for you. Black Widow said tomorrow also auction. Not, I, not for me. Are you doing one? Renee? I am going to be on tomorrow um, at 5 Central, 6 Eastern Standard Time on knickknacks.net. Um, and you can just put in knickknacks.net into your, if you have an iPhone. And it will be called the Groovy Train. And you'll see little um, tabs under the live streams. And they come up on the home page, all the live streams do. Um, I will be on that tomorrow. And it's uh, tomorrow. We no, I said groovy train. No, not tomorrow. Tomorrow I am on vintage jewelry tomorrow. So that's at five. And you'll see uh, it's a raccoon with on a thumbnail with a black background. And I'll be on at five on knickknacks.net if you want to give it a try. Just come in and look and see what's going on. Hey, Mary Beth. Mary Beth said, what time zone? Um, five Central, and then it would be six Eastern. All right, Stephanie, what blue piece are you talking about in the middle shelf? Because there's, there's a couple of blue pieces, right? Mm -hmm. There's that, and then that thing That's there. That's a dolphin. That's a squish mellow. <laughs> I got to move again. Um, that, he that's had it. Blue dolphin. Blue dolphin. Blue dolphin. All right. A blue dolphin is a paperweight. Got a really nice, smooth um, bottom, and it was hand blown. Um, the tail is applied. This tail is applied. And everything else is hand blown. Um, what do you think? Start this dolphin at mm, ten dollars. Ten dollars because of the a paper. You know, it's a paperweight. He's beautiful. He's in really good condition, and he's got that really nice, clear, polished bottom. And Stephanie comes in at 10. He's cute. Kind of reminds me of Flipper. <laughs> I, I like the... <laughs> Does that sound like a dolphin? Sounds like something. <laughs> <laughs> at least I tried. Flipper. Flipper? Yeah. What was the name of that one that lost its tail? I watched that. What was that? It had, they, didn't it get, they give it a, a bionic tail later? Something like that, yeah. Yeah. But I did watch um, Flipper whenever I was a kid. All right. So. so. <laughs> Okay, I just want to make sure that was. All right, am I supposed to move? Or are we going to call it? I'm, you can call it whatever you want to do. I'm moving before I get yelled at again by somebody. All right, anything else, guys? Anything else you see on those shelves? Had I known, I would have done put you on my phone tonight and walked you around. But Stephanie's getting her money's worth out of her. Ten dollars shipping. Yeah, she is. <laughs> Stephanie's like, I'm already at the ten dollars shipping, and she said I could. Sh she would ship fifty pounds of stuff. So, where are those paperweights? 
<laughs> I've got <coughs> I've got some that are just I don't know if they're hidden or not. But there's some cute stuff. That says she just wanted to go over there and crawl through your shelves. <laughs> well, come on to Alabama and I'll let you. <laughs> but every Tuesday, just so you guys know, every Tuesday on knickknacks.net at 318, I am on and I'm auctioning stuff, you know, like we did tonight. But very often when Joe is here, I will take my phone and we will get in the shelves and see what's there and let you pick what you want. And then we auction it. So I tried to do that on Tuesdays, 318 on knickknacks.net. So come see, see if you like knickknacks.net. So I think that's it. All right. I'm going to bring us both up. Thank okay. you. Thank you so much for coming on with me tonight. Thank you for giving me grace for getting everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, when you said you were going on vacation too, I was like, she's, my mind shuts off as soon as I know that I'm getting real close to going to vacation. I think my mind goes on vacation just a little bit sooner than I do. <laughs> and we're going on, we're taking vacation to Tennessee the week after next. There you go. And so we're excited about doing that. It's a reseller event. Yeah. And so it, it serves two purposes. I can write it off on my taxes. Right. And I can learn something from other people in my business. Well, three. And I'm, I meet people and that I've made friends with and I make new friends. So I'm excited about that too. That is awesome. Yeah, that's why I told Robert. I so said we're gonna source on the way down to Florida and on our way back. And then that way is a total tax write-off for us. Yeah. Talk a little mm -hmm. bit of business for about one minute and then you know we're done. <laughs> yeah, you'll have fun. You'll have fun. Um definitely we like to do that when we're traveling as well, just stop at the thrift stores and we end up having more we've got to really watch ourselves we think oh we can fit that in there and then you get to your car and you're like where am i gonna put it i was like i'm taking one suitcase small one robert's got his and then we got about four or five totes already in his car so we got things that we can feel so <laughs> yeah we learned not to take totes though oh really because the totes took up too much room and ah. we, and you can strategically, it's like Tetris, you know, then you can place things where you want it without the totes. Yeah, and I think Robert's worried that things are going to roll around, you know. I mean, we got bubble wrap and because he's got one of those cars that you raise up the floor mat yeah. in the back and it's got the hidey holes underneath. So we got yeah. bubble wrap, tape, scissors, anything that we could possibly need. Oh, so. you'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. Take bath towels with you. Yeah, take bath towels with you. Yes, yes. That'll help. That's what uh, my friend and I, Tammy, Dream Chaser, she'll come in every now and then and she's on with me on Wednesday nights. We flew to Biloxi and went sourcing down there and she grabbed some hotel towels. <laughs> <laughs> we threw them in the in the suitcase with our stuff, so it was you know come back with us safe. So, yeah, uh, yes, towels are really good. So, <laughs> really, helps. so it doesn't it helps for them keeping it to roll around. Yeah, yeah, it's it's fun. I hope you guys have a great time. Well, thank you. Uh, so, guys, um, I will again have bite now videos for you tomorrow, Thursday, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week. I will not invoice you till we get back, but if for some reason you need it tonight, let me know ASAP. Um, that way we can get it shipped out before we leave. Because um, otherwise, I'm done. Done tonight. So. She's hitting the road, man. Right. Yes. Um, anything else? I think that's it. You got anything else? No, I don't. Oh. I just Thank you guys. It was nice seeing y'all and meeting new people in the chat. I hope you had a good time. And I did. I had a good cool. time. And I've already sent you everybody's information. So oh, thank you. If I missed somebody, just let me know. Um, 
But yeah, guys, I'll be back on Monday, April 22nd for Monday Motivation that night at 8 p.m. Central, providing that I'm not too tired from traveling. Um, but yeah, that'll be the next night that you'll see me live. So you need a vacation from your vacation. That's right. Yes. So be watching for the slaw pictures. They will be coming at you next Wednesday. So a week from tomorrow, um, I will be dropping those and maybe a video. So, all right, guys, let us know if anything that was passed, if you would like it and y'all have a great week and a half without me. I'll see y'all probably somewhere around YouTube. So have a good night, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Thanks.